All right. So um, I genuinely didn't know what to call this presentation um, because it is full of ridiculousness. And so I went with, we're all mad here. Um, oh my gosh, it's crypt. Sorry, I just need a second. Hey, boo. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so he just got here from the airport, so I'm very excited. Um, so who am I? So who is this guy? So uh, as mentioned, um, my, my actual name, my given name is Neil Weiler. Um, but most people in this community know me as Grifter. Um, by day, I do threat hunting and incident response for RSA. Um, and then by night, I do a bunch of other things. Um, by those bunch of other things, I mean, I'm a DEF CON goon and have been for 17 years. I run all the contests, events, villages, parties, and the demo labs. So basically everything that isn't somebody getting on stage to give a talk is, is what I'm responsible for. I do that very poorly, but they keep having me come back. Um, and so um, I've been doing that for quite some time. Um, I mentioned that it's everything except for people getting on stage. That's not necessarily true because I'm also part of the DEF CON review board. So every talk that gets submitted to DEF CON, we review those as well. Um, so that's a lot of extra nighttime hours. Um, I also do all of the technical operations for the Black Hat security briefings. Um, and I've been doing that for 15 years. Uh, I'm also on the Black Hat review board. So all of the DFIR, malware, network defense, and applied security tracks. I read all of the submissions for those. Um, and the training review board, so I help pick the training. I am the founder of DC801, if you're familiar with DC801, um, and actually DEF CON groups as a whole. Um, one of the co-founders of 801 Labs, the hacker space here in Salt Lake City, here, that, that away. Um, I have authored three different InfoSec books. I'm actually working on the fourth right now. Um, I've spoken at Black Hat six times, DEF CON eight times, RSA conference, MooCon, Derby, all these other conferences all over. Um, I like getting on stage, I guess, despite my introversion. Um, but yeah, so that's me. I, I, I think that's supposed to make you want to pay attention to what I have to say. And now I'll tell you about a roach. <laughs> so, story time. This is Trevor. <laughs> so, I can already see this is going to be weird because some of the because we had to move it over to different laptops. So, the uh, the PowerPoint is some things are going to be off, but it's all good. So, here's how this all started. I went to Smashburger across the street from Derby, and they have delicious milkshakes. I love milkshakes. Um, I don't drink being LDS and being from Utah. Um, milkshakes, you know, are how I throw down. So, um, so yeah, milkshake o'clock. Yes, lost, no, milkshake o'clock, lost, crib, J, all, so we, we do milkshake o'clock. We'll just be like, what time is it? It's milkshake o'clock, and then we go get milkshakes. That will happen here a lot. Um, yes, Hex uh, in Vegas, best milkshakes ever. So I get a delicious milkshake, as I often do. The first sip that I take of the milkshake, now mind you, this is after I've already eaten the burger and the fries and stuff like that, which is good, because I probably would have left it at that point, and I was pretty hungry. But the first sip, oh, I, like something goes in my mouth and I'm like, this doesn't have any toppings. <laughs> this is a salted caramel milkshake. Why? What is that? Now I swallow the milkshake portion and kind of do that like filtering it out like a whale, you know, like I pull it and I, and I go and I pull it out and I look at it and, and Da Kahuna and Jay were with me um, and Doc Ahuna was sitting across from me, and I was like, and I, 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 I'll try not to swear often in this. I swear a lot, but I'll try not to swear often in this. But I just went, you've got to be shitting me. <laughs> and he goes, what? And I went, flick. And I flicked Trevor um, down onto the paper, and he goes, no! 
Oh, was that in your mouth? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, are you freaking out right now? A little bit. Um, so, you know, I'd go show the people at Smashburger, hey, here's this thing that I just found uh, in my shake. Uh, just so you, heads up. Um, <laughs> not what I ordered. Um, the, the folks at Smashburger say, uh, well, that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> and I was like, that's good to know. Like, I'm glad that you cleared that up. Um, do you want us to make you another milkshake? <laughs> and I was like, I'm good. I'm good. Um, and they didn't know what to do. You know, I took a picture of the roach because I was like, you know, and then I'm glad I did because he immediately disappeared. Like somebody like absconded with Trevor and his, his physical body um, quite quickly after that. But, um, but I was just like, all right, well, I guess let's get out of here. That was gross. And they're like, can we refund your meal? And I was like, I, it, it doesn't really matter. Like, the 14 bucks doesn't take the roach out of my mouth. Like, so, so we left. And I tweeted this out. So watch out, DerbyCon. This is the roach. I sucked up my straw of my milkshake from Smashburger. I'm going to name him Trevor. And that was it. Well, I sent that out, Smashburger's social media folks immediately send me a message. Please DM us. We need to talk, you know? I'm like, okay, we should die. I don't know what there is to talk about. So I say, what's up, guys? And they're like, what location was this at? And will you please give us your phone number so we can call you and, and talk about this? I'm like, sure. So I tell them, you know, where it's at, and I say, okay, let's, let's chat. They, I give them the phone number, and so they call me the next morning. Like, so they call me the next morning, and they were super nice. Like, the person that I talked to, the guy was really, really nice. He was super apologetic. He's like, oh, man, I'm really, really sorry. I, you know, I, I, this is what our schedule is for pest control. This is all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know, it's fine. It's fine. You know, it happens. There's bugs in restaurants. I get it. Um, and he was like, all right, so let's just, let's just get to it. Like, let's talk about compensation. Like, what, what type of compensation are, are, do we need to talk about? And I was like, oh, dude, I, I don't want anything. And he's like, what? <laughs> I was like, no, man. Like, I mean, it happens. It was gross. I just want to make sure you clean the restaurant. Like, all my friends are over there eating and and I was telling the manager like hey check all your milkshake cups and he looked at me confused like why would I do that and I'm like, <laughs> it's like because of Trevor's family <laughs> um, and so so we, he he keeps talking and telling me more about their schedule and says look let me send you some coupons or something like send you free meals blah blah, blah. and I was like Honestly, man, like, I really appreciate it, but I, I don't want to get anything out of this except that you guys make sure the restaurant gets clean. And he's like, oh, we'll do that, we'll do that. Um, so I said, here's the thing, though. I said, there's a lot of people here at this conference, and we're all pretty upset about Trevor. And he starts busting up. Like, he's like, <laughs> and he goes, I saw that, you know? Like, and I'm like, well... Trevor's got a lot of kids, like a lot of kids, and now they have no one to provide for them. <laughs> so what would you guys think about setting up a college fund for Trevor's kids? <laughs> and he's laughing, and he's like, he's like, oh, man, I got to say, like, this ruined my week. I was freaking out. But you're being super cool about this. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, you know, you will tell Trevor's family that. Um, <laughs> uh, he's like, if you change your mind, you know, here's my number, here's my email address. If you need anything, please reach out. And I'm like, it's good. And so I tweet this out where I say, got a call from Smashburger. They're awesome. We asked them to set up a college fund for Trevor's kids. RIP Trevor 2017 to 2017. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and they were super cool. So 
people are kind of following this a little bit and laughing. And, you know, obviously, like, people that I know are like, dude, did you really drink a roach? And I was like, yes. And it was gross. And they were like, oh, like, what if it was the other kind of roach? And I'm like, also don't want it in my milkshake. Like, but whatever. Um, so, so I get a, um, I, I see this tweet go out. And it says, um, from Narfi, and he says, I will be disappointed if Trevor doesn't end up with a curbside memorial complete with pictures and stuffed animals. <laughs> and so I was like, this has to be a thing. <laughs> um, and so it became a thing. So Narfi goes and gets, he's like, I have the first, um, I, I have the first uh, stuffed animal. I'm going to go put it out there and printed off the paper here and wrote R.I.P. Trevor, hashtag Trevor Forget, and stuck it outside of the smash burger. And within five minutes, someone stole the stuffed animal. <laughs> like, we could see it happen. At DerbyCon, the hotel looks across to the smash burger, the smoking area, and there's like an outside bar where everybody hangs out and get food and stuff. So we're sitting right there, and it's like, oh, and it's gone. Like, someone just walked by and was like, mine. And, and, and so... I was like, I'm going to CVS, and I'm going to see what I can get. So I get this. It is the weirdest $40 I've ever spent. <laughs> um, but it's, you know, little stuffed animals, some LED candles, um, a bar of Dove chocolate. I don't, I'm Trevor's favorite. Um, <laughs> Mountain Dew, because, you know, he's a hacker. Um, and... All of this stuff, I just put, I was putting it out there, and people saw it, and they were like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm setting up the memorial for Trevor. <laughs> Who's Trevor? This roach. <laughs> so, got some odd looks. But then people start coming over and taking pictures, and there's a box of tissues out there, too. The thing that was great about the tissues is that locals would walk by and see it, and they would like be like, what? reach down and take a tissue, and then, like, walk off. <laughs> like, like, what are you going to do with that? But, obviously, that was the right amount of memorial to, like, keep people from just being, like, free stuff and taking it all. So, it stayed. And I went to dinner. So, here we are at dinner, and um, Alex Hammerstone tweets this out, because, essentially, we're very distracted by our phones. Because the DerbyCon hashtag, so Dave Kennedy, who runs Derby or founded Derby, is, is in the red shirt there. He is blowing up from all the Derby stuff that goes to his phone. I'm blowing up because Trevor Forget is happening. And then he's like, dude, this, this memorial thing's getting out of control. You know, like there's all this stuff happening. And it grows. <laughs> so... Now there's a bunch of people out there. And so what was fun about this too was I had only bu I built the memorial and then I walked away from it and went to dinner about 20 minutes later. But beforehand, I went to the little bar area and was sitting down with some friends. And anytime someone walked by and took a picture or stared at it for too long, one of us would scream, Trevor, <laughs> which is why the call. Um, and everyone outside would echo Trevor. So like 70 to 100 hackers would then scream Trevor at the top of their lungs and frighten off the norms, you know? <laughs> um, so this keeps getting bigger and bigger, and people are shouting Trevor like crazy. Locals are swinging by, and now they're starting to get involved. So we've got some locals down there. There is a horse like a carriage, you know, a little touristy thing right outside where the smash burger was. And the, the driver of the carriage started to scream, Trevor, whenever we would scream Trevor. And we're like, we like you, lady. You're one of us. Um, and so you can't see it because it's a really dark picture. But there's a guy, and he's actually like holding his hand up in the air. That's his response to everybody screaming Trevor at him. So... It grows. <laughs> so there is, that, that's also pretty dark. Um, but there is a 40 of Colt 45 there. There is food. There are several piles of and 
different packets of sugar, um, multiple different types of liquor, like shots that were out there, a six pack of Smirnoff ice, which is a big derby thing, so, um, so Trevor got iced, and then like cards and all other kinds of things. And, and we're like watching this happen mostly from dinner. You know, like we're like, this is, they're making it bigger and bigger. Like it has taken on a life of its own. Now people were putting cards there. They just weren't, they weren't just putting cards there. They were actually filling out the cards. Like people were signing them. Someone drew that gone but not forgotten. That's not part of the actual card. So things like, God bless you, sweet prince. Good night, sweet prince. You were better than all of us. Security Viking. You know, like... I, it, it just got insane. It was hysterical. So we had some Hallmark moments there. Art. <laughs> Tragedy. Art. So people, they found art as their outlet for making sure that, that they could show how much they cared about Trevor. So there were different types of artwork that were being set out at the memorial. Um, I like the one in the middle there up top. It says, it wasn't my fault that I liked milkshakes. And so, yeah. And then there was a Yelp review. So here's the Yelp review of that Smashburger location. One star. So from Trevor R. This is from Trevor. So there I was, swimming around in a delicious milkshake when this guy with great hair comes in and sucks me up through a straw. He also smelled of rich mahogany, which I noticed as I was being sucked up to his magnificent lips. I did not make this review. This is not me. Do you know how weird this is to like come across this? And then now I'm dead and my wife can't pay the rent and Smashburger has refused to set up a college fund for my 1,337 children. So this keeps happening, and now people are tweeting pictures of the memorial like crazy. And I figure, all right, it's going to go on for a couple hours, and then we'll get bored, or we'll see something shiny, <laughs> and it will stop. But then this happens. <laughs> oh, Smashburger. Whoever was in charge of that Twitter account just told 2,000 hackers who were having a great time <laughs> trolling and just minding their own business, mostly. Please stop. Mistake. It was like, I was talking to Pope about this. He was like, yeah, so basically they were like, hey, there's a fire here. Put it out with this gasoline. Um, and so, uh, hopefully the audio will work for this. It got out of hand. Yeah, right? I mean, honestly. So, so Khalil made that while we were, like, we, so we were at dinner. He was the one sitting next to Dave on his phone, also, like, just hypnotized by what was taking place on Twitter. And we got in the Uber, and from the restaurant to, back to the hotel, he made that video on his phone. 
and then uploaded it. Like he was like, they said, please stop. I've got something for them. <laughs> I was very impressed. Um, Yeah, oh, I, yes, that is very. So that's not the first time Pilgrim has inflated some things like that, and it's true. He um, he has a, a quite a talent. Um, so then Trevor set up a Twitter account, <laughs> apparently from the beyond. Now, again, this is not me. Like, so I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like. He's following one person, and it's me. <laughs> and then it says in his profile, I'm a roach, and grifters sucked me up a straw at DerbyCon. Now I'm dead. <laughs> now, you see, he's got hundreds of followers. He retweets a lot of things that get tweeted about him, or does actually really funny replies with gifts and stuff like that. Like I, was, I don't know, again, I still don't know who is running the account, but they're really funny. Um, so, so Twitter just, just loved the hell out of it, and Derby just kept it going. They did have an odd fascination with my mouth. Um, my favorite tweet is probably April's, which says, where do I sign up to die in Grifter's mouth? <laughs> Hashtag Trevor forget. Um, and then Russ says, do you think this entire thing with Trevor forget started with a dare, or perhaps Trevor telling his roach buddies? Here hold my beer. <laughs> and Panadero replies with, like most people, I think he just wanted to be in Grifter's mouth. <laughs> so I'll start selling tickets, I think. Um, and it just keeps happening. So this, I like this one here because it, it's got heart. It says, I went to DerbyCon to get better at finding bugs and see family. I didn't expect a bug to find my heart. Um, and then Bill Pollock, who owns No Starch Press, tweets out, coming this spring from No Starch Press, the book of Trevor. <laughs> and then look who tweeted the other tweet. That's Will freaking Wheaton. <laughs> Trevor was too good for this world. Good night, sweet prince. There are worlds other than this, and you shall reign over them all. <laughs> Will Wheaton! <laughs> like, I'm like, no way. Again, just absolute insanity. There were so many tributes. People doing toasts to Trevor. Um, someone dressed up as the Pope came across the street with hat and all and uh, inducted Trevor as a saint into the church of Wi-Fi. Um, they, were, they had taken several Bibles from their room and set them at the memorial at this point. There is also, if you haven't seen the, uh, the No Starch book, POC or GTFO, it looks like a Bible. It's really, really nice. They were reading passages from that above the memorial, and everybody was standing around. Like, it was insane. <coughs> and again, every five minutes, somebody yells, Trevor, and, and off it goes. So the cops showed up. <laughs> So, and not just once, multiple times. So the cops show up and they're just like, what is, what's going on? You know? You can see there's a fire truck there too. They just wanted to make sure those weren't actual candles. And we're like, we're hackers, we're afraid of fire. <laughs> but electricity, we're good with that. So LEDs for days. So they were good, an ambulance was there. What started happening though was all these first responders were hearing from their friends about this ridiculous memorial. And so they were showing up and taking pictures with it. And like stuff. <laughs> so the cops were like taking pictures with the memorial. Somebody came up, they, they hand the cop a beer and he pours it out for Trevor on the sidewalk. <laughs> and I'm like, what? universe are we in right now <laughs> but the cops were in on it too they were like all right like it's just it's good fun um actually what what's funny too is just when the cops were showing up so a guy comes walking up and he is like looking at the memorial and he's like hey man what's going on we're like oh it's a memorial for our friend uh trevor uh he passed away 
And he's looking at the 40, and he's like, can I, can I have that 40? <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, dude. I, I think Trevor would want you to have it. And he goes to reach for it, and he stops, and he's like, nah. I can't, I can't drink no dead dude's 40. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he, he was a roach. And, he, and he's like, what? I was like, no, he was a roach. Look, here's a picture of him right here. This is Trevor. And like, I drank him in a milkshake. He's dead. And so this is the memorial for the dead roach. And he reached down and grabbed that 40 and drank like three quarters of it, like in a second. And I was like, yeah, you can drink that 40. Um, and then he paced back and forth for a while and slowly drank the Smirnoff ices. But as soon as the cops showed up, he ran away. Um, so... So Smashburger had a little bit of a social media meltdown. People were tweeting stuff to them and saying like, hey, you know, what are you guys going to do about this or that or blah, blah, blah. And they were like, this was addressed. Or they were like, hey, blah, blah, blah. No one asked you. <laughs> and we're like, oh, my gosh, we've broken them. <laughs> like, this, this happened. Um, at this point, I can only imagine that Smashburger corporate is just going, why, oh why, didn't he just take the money <laughs> and go away? You cannot buy my silence. I will not be silenced. <laughs> so the next morning, people start paying small tributes to Trevor in ways like getting their coffee in the name of Trevor, or those are two different receipts, one from the airport smash burger, um, where the name on the receipt is Trevor, and then one from another smash burger where it is a strawberry shake um, that, that the person had purchased for Trevor. Um, and while I was at the airport getting ready to leave that morning, someone paged over the, the, the intercom system or whatever they uh, Trevor, forget, please meet your party at the Starbucks, Trevor, <laughs> Trevor, forget. But they actually said, like, forget, like, Trevor, forget, but I don't know if that was an accent or if it was just, but they were like, um, so lots of tributes to Trevor. Everybody was like, well, we just want Trevor to be, you know, remembered. And this was Smashburger's response. You monsters. <laughs> so that is the pest control truck the morning of... <laughs> Um, there to senselessly and brutally murder the rest of Trevor's family. Um, so, you know, I mean, I, you know, like, they took care of it. Um, but it just doesn't stop. So now that picture in the upper left is at Ubisoft, where they, the makers of Watch Dogs, the hacker like video game, and on their case of awards somebody has taped hashtag trevor forget and then off it goes on the internet there's dave kennedy wearing a shirt with a big roach that says trevor forget on it someone made a video game that's what's on the bottom left there <laughs> where it's a roach and you just have to dodge the falling milkshakes <laughs> and then that's another shirt where it's just the tweet that says please stop um, but that's not the only shirt. Like, Punk, you're wearing a Trevor Forget shirt today. Get up on that chair and show the good people your Trevor Forget shirt. <laughs> so. When you saw that Please Stop, did you know you'd won? When I saw the Please Stop, I didn't know that I had won. I was not, I, I didn't realize it was a contest, but I did know that they had lost. That was, like, at that point, that I knew that they had lost, so. Um, but then this is how you actually win at social media, is somebody tweets out, you know, it's rumored that Trevor's dying wish was for Sox 5 and Metasploit, and then tags Rapid7. Rapid7 responds, we've locked at Metasploit in a room until they figure this out, you know, for Trevor. Like, I'm like winning that they know what they're doing but you can imagine as an outsider somebody who's not a derby con or never saw the first tweet 
what the hell is going on? So there was cause for confusion. So for about six hours yesterday, I thought a hacker named Trevor died in a car accident because of some weird tweet chiming. So I'm watching all the Trevor stuff fly by going, man, this guy really knew some people. <laughs> then I found out it was a roach and it was epic. <laughs> Smashburger has no idea what they're in for every year. <laughs> and that's true. Hey, DerbyCon next year should be DerbyCon 7. Please stop. <laughs> Dude, it's, there's, uh, plans are in the works already. Like, there are moments of silence at upcoming cons that people have already said. At Cactus Con, they did some stuff for Trevor. Um, Trevor is doing something with the vault downstairs. Like, the, Trevor's everywhere. He will live on. Um, so it, it was trending on Twitter. Like, hashtag Trevor Forget was trending on Twitter. So it gets picked up by different news agencies. So the Miami Herald, uh, International Business Times, this one here, um, Salted Hash, the CSO online. Um, that's, that's Steve, and he was actually, he's the one I was hugging, um, where I was, my sadness. But, you know, he, he wrote up an article on it and had some pretty funny stuff in there as well. So this started getting shared with the world. But the one that really mattered, at least for me, was that bad boy right there. <laughs> Somehow KSL saw this. So for those who aren't local, KSL is our local like news station or whatever. It is the, um, you know, uh, news station of choice for most folks. And I didn't know that this had happened. Again, I did not tell these people that this was happening, but I do get a text from my wife who says, hey, her friend, you know, Alexa, she's like, Alexa just sent me a text saying she heard your name on the radio. She heard them say grifter and hackers and Trevor. <laughs> and I'm like, what? No, like whatever. But then somebody else sends me a text. Hey, I just heard about Trevor on the radio. And I'm like, what? And I start getting these requests like sent to me, like, hey, can we use your picture on our website or we want to do this? And I'm like, uh, every response was the same one. And it was just, I, I think Trevor would want you to do that. Please, <laughs> please tell his story. Um. Well, if you look at what the Russians can do, I mean, they understand our political system. They understand uh, hot button topics. And I was actually discussing this whole thing with my late friend Trevor over a milkshake a month ago on how easy it is to actually go and, and purchase ads in, in certain areas and demographics to be able to start to sway public opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Trevor's on CNN. <laughs> Mama's so proud. Um, so yeah, this is all fun and, you know, it's excellent trolling, but one of the things I think that is awesome about our community, the InfoSec community, the hacker community, um, is that we will often take something as, you know, benign as, as, ew, that's gross, and then find a way to turn it into something good. So someone set up a GoFundMe where it was the Trevor the Roach Memorial Fund, and the the proceeds for that went to um, friends uh, for friends of Puerto Rico, so hurricane relief. Um, people freaked out initially, though, because it says there, as you know, the InfoSec community lost a beloved member over the weekend, Trevor the Roach. To make matters worse, his entire family is also caught up in the disaster in Puerto Rico. Now, people were like, oh, dude, that's not cool. Like, what if people think you're, like, calling Puerto Ricans, like, roaches or whatever? And I'm like, I'm half Puerto Rican. My mom is Puerto Rican. I know I'm the most German-looking Puerto Rican you've ever seen, but it is a fact. So I'm like, we good. <laughs> Um, so it raises 3,700 bucks, which is awesome. You know, like, oh, that's really cool. Um, it's, it's about how much was raised by all the other things that people tried to put together for, um, for Puerto Rico at the con as well because of a troll. Um, 
But then Bill Pollock, again, who owns No Starch Press, tweets out, it's a humble bundle. This one is dedicated to the memory of our beloved Trevor. Please retweet. And it goes out into the world. So this ended yesterday, and it, it was over $600,000. And I think um, he was saying just over $200,000 of that goes to charity. So a dead roach in my mouth and on the internet turned into something actually fairly amazing, um, which is really cool. So a lot of money raised for, um, for charity um, due to Trevor's beautiful, beautiful sacrifice. So. so that's it. Like, that's the story of Trevor. Um, I'm glad that I got it out and that it's being filmed because I have had to tell that story I don't know how many times. Like, people are like, tell me about Trevor. You know, like, I'm at my in-laws for dinner on Sunday. Tell me about Trevor. I'm like, I don't, I don't wanna. <laughs> I, I say it too much. Um, so that's it, so it's out there now. There's everything that happened, the conversations I had, and all of what Twitter did, and our amazing community that turned it into something positive. Um, it was just pure fun for everyone except Smashburger. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, we had a good time with it, and, and it's still going. Every day, hashtag Trevor Forget tweets are still going out. So I encourage you to keep Trevor's memory alive. And throughout the conference, look for opportunities to, one, drink a milkshake, because they're good. It's basically like my Mormon alcohol. Um, and two, like, remember Trevor when you're doing it. So now, all right, I'll get serious. Trevor!